sense of standing up because today's show is just jam-packed with people worthy of us standing up for. Some of our Tam Fam favorites. And it does not get bigger than my next guest. That's why they're standing. Since I started listening to music, there has not been a time where the Winans family singing was not a part of my life. B.B. Winans brought me to tears when he serenaded me on our Mother's Day show last season. Well, now his world-famous sister, Cece Winans, the best-selling and most awarded female gospel artist of all time, just finished her first tour. In over a decade, Cece reunited with her brother, B.B., for that epic versus battle with Mary Mary. Her new book, Believe For It, Passing on Faith to the Next Generation, just dropped this week. Please welcome 15-time Grammy winner, the legendary Cece Winans. People ask me still, do I still get nervous? I, I have butterflies, oh. literal butterflies. I am so, and it's, it's a nervousness where you just, I can't find the words to mm. capture mm. just what you mean, your family needs to all, that's why they were standing yeah. before oh, you were Thank out. you, thank you. And, and it's so you. crazy to me, Cece, I mean, you, you continue to have moments, right? Mm -hmm. 2022, a big one, you won three Grammys and became, <laughs> And you became the first African-American woman to win the Gospel Music Association's Dove Award for Artist of the Year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't even imagine that there's still firsts <laughs> on your resume. Right, right, this right. This was the first for you. First, the first. That is amazing to me. You know, we've been in the industry as far as, but you know, we've been singing all our lives. I've been singing all of my life. My whole family, we grew up in the church singing, but I've been singing professionally for the public for over 40 years now. And so what is amazing, like you just said, is that you never stop learning. You never, God never runs out of more, yeah. you know? And I love that you also have fun with it. I think that's why your family and your message and your music, it's always been approachable. No one was left behind. No, no. You know, no one was not allowed to still smile and be right. themselves. That's why the verses was so epic. There you yes. are, the verses <laughs> with, with Mary Mary. And then, of course, BB had to be, oh, BB, I think we have a clip. Listen, is BB in the coin <laughs> toss. Let's up. take a listen. Up. We gonna we go flip a coin to see who goes first. Is that all oh. right? Wait. We don't need to beep. flip no coin. Let them go first or let them go last. Makes no difference. Ooh. Okay, 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 Ooh. okay. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. okay. Talk in the building. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> like, talking smack. <laughs> Smack all Listen, the time. they have young Jeezy. We got young Beezy. I mean, what, is, what was he doing? Talking smack. Just having fun. <laughs> you know, he always talking stuff. Um, but we, it's 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 a life giving music. It's yeah. it's what we do. You know. So laughter. The Bible says laughter is like a medicine. Yeah. You know, and joy and happiness. And so we have fun. We yeah. had a lot of fun. It was a blast. I didn't even know what verses really meant. Almost. <laughs> You're I'm like, what does this mean? Oh, you're supposed to be up against Mary Mary. I'm like, up against, they're gonna kill us. And Bibi's like, <laughs> Bibi's like, no way, no way. They don't have a chance. We had so much fun. Oh my, it was and, so yeah, fun to watch. Yeah. And you know, I know you're about teaching the next generation about right. faith and what it means yes. and that there are no rules. There's, it, there's a welcome mat out there for everybody for to come everybody. in. I mean, everybody. you have nine siblings, seven older brothers and yeah. two younger, younger sisters. sisters. Right. Um, a lot of us. My mom was the only child. Your mom was no, the no, only... No, no, no. My mom had one sister. My father was the only child. Wow. They came together, and I guess they said, we will never be lonely. Why stop? Why ten, stop? Ten kids. Yeah. You, you know, know? To, to your point, and I think growing up, we all wanted to be... Even Whitney Houston famously called yes. herself the 11th... The 11th wine. Uh, yes. Because yes. we all were like, there's a lot of kids, there's a lot of sharing, but I want to be there. <laughs> I want to be in that family. Yeah, well, you know, it's because we were blessed. I mean, Whitney, even when we met Whitney, Whitney came out, the year she came out, Bebe and I were singing, I think it was on the Image Awards, and of course she was winning everything. Yeah. And Tamara ran up to her. No, no, we were walking, actually, and we were crossing, and she said, 
BB and CC? And I'm like, wait a minute, how do you know us? You know? Um, but she had been listening to our music, our family's oh. music. And that night, we were in concert in a small little place in California. And she said, I'm gonna be there. And we were like, okay, yeah, yeah. sure. You're Whitney Houston. <laughs> um, but she showed up that night, got up on stage with us, and ended up singing our songs. She ended up singing our songs better than we have ever sang them in our lives. <laughs> so we were like, it's time for you to get off our stage. <laughs> But that's where we became yes, sisters and friends. Oh. And she's she was my sister, and you know I still love her and she I still, still miss her. her. Yeah. But there is no voice like hers, no. never, ever. Oh she's amazing. Up next, more with CC Winans, and we're gonna meet her husband Alvin. Thirty-eight years together. <laughs> after the break. <laughs> favorite and gospel legend CC Wine is with us today and we're now joined I'm blushing her <laughs> husband of 38 years pastor Alvin Love the second over the weekend their son pastor Alvin Love the third married right. his beautiful wife yes. Jasmine yes, I got a daughter congratulations yes. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. And talk about a family affair. It was Ashley's son, Wyatt. Wyatt. Was the right. ring bearer. He was supposed to be the oh, ring Oh, he was Oh, my gosh. He, he kind of got fired before he, he got, got fired. Hired. <laughs> he wouldn't cooperate. He you wouldn't cooperate. You know, in rehearsal, we could tell, you know, he might throw the pillow. We don't know. So, so he just became part of the uh, audience. So he didn't do the ring bearer, but he showed up really cute anyway. He, listen, <laughs> half the battle is looking the part. Trust That's me, right. I do it every day. Yes, uh, yes. Pastor Love, yes. I, we have video of him dancing when he was 10 oh, months old. Oh, my goodness, that is Where's my the baby. video of him dancing? <laughs> look, oh, look. Uh, <laughs> I mean... You're praising God. He, what, praising. How, how do you contain that is all my of this baby. love? You know what? It... You, I, I've heard it for years. You know, there's nothing like being in the grandparent club. Uh. Guys, there is nothing like being <laughs> in the grandparent club. It is the greatest... I don't know what it is. To see your baby have a baby uh. is just... You see God's faithfulness again to another generation. Yeah. And, and, and as a parent, I mean, we all make mistakes. Thank God both my kids are doing great, but we all make mistakes. Um, and so I think grandparent, you get another chance. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I get another chance. <laughs> and then you can spoil them and leave it to the parents to do the... I love the look at them, they get to go yeah. home. Grandparents, y'all know what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, <laughs> you sound like my mom now. It's like, love them and they get to go That's home. That's right, we can but go home. As I said, the wedding was a family affair. Your son asked you to be his best man. Yes, yes. yes. You know, I had to do the uh, best man speech. Uh -huh. And, you know, I said it was an honor for any father to have their son yeah, asked to be the best friend. That was you know? pretty awesome. And so when he asked... <laughs> yeah, I had never heard that. Kind of, kind of look alike, yeah. <laughs> you do look, you kind of look alike. I wonder yeah. why. <laughs> I mean, yeah. twins here. But, I love it. But I was, I was just so moved when he came and said, Bae, Alvin asked me to be his best yeah. man. Yeah. I was like, he did. I was like, that is awesome. That means he really considers him a friend. That is. Yeah, that's, that's a blessing. Pretty, that's, that's a blessing. blessing. Yeah. Well, you have to be friends to stay married for 38 years. 38 years, yes. 38 yeah. years. In, and I still like the guy. In your book, you wrote, one of the things that first attracted me to my husband, Alvin, apart from his dashing good looks and warm <laughs> smile, was his sense of humor. Yes. He yeah, keeps keep, me laughing. Keep me laughing. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, so you knew, you were like, <laughs> I keep her laugh. I mean, I can sing, but if I keep her uh, laughing... I can't sing. You can't sing. Matter of no, fact, no. that would make her laugh. <laughs> that would make me laugh, right. It's crazy to believe that you considered retiring. Was it like 10 years ago that you thought about... Well, you know, yeah, uh, wow. The, we, what was it, 11 years ago? Um, 12. Yeah, about 11, 11, years ago. 11 years ago. You know, I knew I would always sing, yeah. you know, but we had planned on, we live in Nashville, Tennessee, but we wanted to get away to something like Hawaii or yeah. California yeah. and just kind of pull back a little bit. I don't think as a believer you ever retire. No. Yeah. You know, yeah. because we always spread God's love and we, yeah. and we share the good news of Jesus, but... Then God put in our hearts to start a church. And we yeah. were like, you got to be kidding me. We're, we're about to retire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you became but pastors. We became right, pastors. Right. And yeah. the church was in your home. In Three our months home. in our home. Yeah. yeah. And it started with my kids' friends, millennials. Yeah, you know? they came. So God really had a sense of humor, not just the church, but <laughs> yeah. millennials. I'm like, what? But it's been the greatest joy. It, it, is, it is nonstop work. 
but it's the greatest joy it is. to see yeah. God change lives. Well, that's you know? the premise of the book, too. It's yeah. passing on faith to the next generation. Right. So here you have this service in your home with millennials, mm -hmm. and then you're creating this message of inclusiveness. I'm here today because my mom and her generation took out time. They yeah. sacrificed. Which I should pause you, know, you because Miss Winans is 86 years old. Yes, yes, my mom. She's the best. She's the best. And you know, no matter how old you get, you know, if I need wisdom, I can, I'm so glad she's still with us. I can pick up the phone. Hey, mom. Uh, the other day we did a taping for my show, Generations, and she, she was upset with me because I was coming, I was going out of town and she had her stick. I was like, well, I guess you can still get me. Too. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm going to get you, you know, but, but I want this book to encourage us to honor our elders. I love it. This is one of those books. It's a family book that you put it on the table in a room where everybody can just come and pick it up from time to time, return it if you borrow it. <laughs> Wait, and just keep enjoying it. Yeah. So, you know what? Yeah. I, I, I would never lend this book to anybody, but I sure would like to give it to some people. I would love for you to do Everybody that.